In this video, we're going to do an application that involves a pretzel factory. Now, this particular pretzel factory has daily fixed costs of $1,800. In addition, it costs 50 cents to produce each bag of pretzels, and a bag of pretzels sells for $1.20. In part A, it says find the rule of the cost function, C of X, that gives the total daily cost of producing X bags of pretzels. So X is the number of bags of pretzels that you produce. The total cost is equal to the fixed costs plus the variable costs. Now our total cost, that's what we're uh, calling C of X. The fixed costs, that's $1,800. And the variable cost is how much it costs to produce a bag of pretzels. So for example, if you produce 10 bags of pretzels, it would cost $5 to produce those because we have 0 0.50 times 10, right? 50 cents times 10. So the variable costs would be 0 0.50 times X. Okay, so here is a formula or a rule for our cost function C of X. Part B says find the rule of the revenue function that gives the daily revenue <clears throat> from selling X bags of pretzels. Now <clears throat> remember that each bag of pretzels sells for $1.20. So if you sell 10 bags of pretzels, it would be $12. Okay, if you sold 1,000 bags of pretzels, it'd be, uh, you would get $1,200 of revenue. So the revenue function R of X is going to equal $1.20 times the number of bags that you sell, x. So the revenue function is 1.20x. Now the last part, part c, <clears throat> says find the rule of the profit function that gives the daily profit from uh, sell, from x bags of pretzels. Now the profit is the revenue minus the costs. Okay, so our profit p of x is the revenue, which was 1.20x, <clears throat> minus the total costs. And let's look, the total costs were $1,800 plus 0 0.50x. $1,800 plus 0 0.50x. Now we could leave our formula like this, or we could simplify it a little bit. This is 1.20x minus 1,800 minus 0.50x, okay, we're distributing the minus, and 1.20x and minus 0.50x is 0.70x, and we still have minus 1800. Okay, so our P of x, our profit function is this. Okay, and you always want your profit to be positive. In fact, you always want your profit to be as big as possible. So you need the, the bigger x's, notice the bigger p of x will be. Now for small values of x, your profit could be negative. You could be losing money every day. But once the x is big enough, uh, you're, you will start gaining a profit. You'll have a positive profit.